All right, welcome back, guys. This is Derek Kirby with the Dallas Prospect, and today we are taking a look at a blockbuster report here. There is no trade, but there might be one soon. Damian Lillard is reportedly requesting a trade from the Portland Trail Blazers, and uh, the reports early on have destinations, four of them mentioned specifically I got to tell you, one of them is an absolute nightmare scenario, only in the sense that I'm so sick of this team always getting these premier guys or always being in conversations for literally any premium free agent. It's different, though, in the case of a scenario where a team is, or a player is specifically listing them as a preferred destination. But Damian Lillard reportedly interested in the Knicks. I know New York bounced back. I know the market. I know how loyal the Knicks fan base is to a fault even I know that they were good last year I'm still perplexed that all it takes is one good year for the Knicks and suddenly everyone acts like that is the destination he listed the Knicks he listed the Heat he listed the Lakers and the Golden State Warriors I'd be interested in first of all I don't want the Warriors returning to re complete relevance that fast <laughs> I don't want them adding Lillard to Curry. Uh, Clay obviously coming off back-to-back -back devastating injuries. Who knows what he'll be when he gets back fully. But all the same, I really don't want uh, any of those teams, frankly. It, it, the Knicks would be interesting. I think he would be a great fit there. I honestly have kind of let go of any rivalry resentment towards the Knicks at this point just because it's kind of like the Atlanta Hawks like I don't care at this point like they got hot in the case of the Hawks and they had a great playoff run awesome it doesn't take away from anything Luka did or what the future looks like for Dallas in the case of the Knicks like all right well they rebounded pretty well post Porzingis and now they've gone on and had some success and their future looks brighter good good for you it doesn't really change where Dallas's position is. I don't think that the KP trade was a mistake by any means because you still got Tim Hardaway Jr. out of it. You're probably going to end up re-signing him this summer as well. And so you're just in that kind of position. But Damian Lillard to any of these teams is a huge move. And just because these are the four teams listed doesn't mean it's where he's going to go necessarily. Right? We've seen situations where guys have wound up getting traded elsewhere, places they didn't want to go, and either still had just great success or kind of put down roots a little bit, determine that, yeah, actually, I do like this place. I didn't think about it much ahead of time, but it's interesting, and uh, I, I like where this is going. So they're there for a while. That's all a possibility. In the case of Damian Lillard to Dallas, Nico Harrison has a great relationship with Damian Lillard, so much so that Damian's iconic uh, playoff three-point shot, the first person in the stands, he interacts with in any degree after his teammates swarm him was Nico Harrison. That's not nothing. Like, there is a possibility there. There is an interest there. But Dallas was not on his list, uh, reportedly, of the four teams he's most interested in. I don't want to see the Lakers with LeBron, Davis, and Lillard. I don't know what the Lakers would even trade to give up for him. It would almost seem like it'd have to be a multi-team trade. Because whatever the Blazers get, you know it's going to be a ransom. You know it's going to be a King's ransom for Damian Lillard and that's why also for the Mavericks they don't have nearly the best offer to make whatever move they make would have to be a multi-team trade as well most likely because you know even if Richardson is likely to opt in in Dallas meaning his contract is going to be another one you now have the option to move that just makes money work his value is so low at this point so there's not any one deal I mean, obviously, if you could get Lillard to Dallas, you would say, hey, to make this all work out, here's Porzingis. That's a scenario where Dallas could move on, but I just don't see it as a likely uh, occurrence in that regard. I think more than likely, Damian Lillard, uh, we'll, I mean, we'll see where he ends up going. I think it's a shame for Portland because I know Damian Lillard has had high, high respect for Dirk throughout his career, basically said... He wanted to be to Portland what Dirk was to Dallas, meaning a lifer, his entire career there. But you saw eventually that wore on him, 
as they had multiple first round exits. They had the one year where they got to the West Finals, but they had multiple first round exits, and you just never saw them getting over the hump. Now, to be fair, Dallas with Dirk had multiple first round exits between 06 and the 2011 title. Sometimes it's just the one year, and in their case, they had to run into a Warriors super team and get waxed, basically, in the Western Conference Finals, and the landscape was just different. In Dallas's 2011 run, you had the Heat super team. Boston still kind of called itself a super team, but those guys were kind of an older assessment of veterans at that point. The only guy really playing at true superstar level at that point, I think, would maybe be Paul Pierce. Like, Garnett was still an anchor, and he was still great, but he was almost like a degree above a Tyson in that case. It wasn't the same. It wasn't Minnesota Garnett. It wasn't first Boston title Garnett. It wasn't anything like that. So I don't know. Uh, I don't I don't know what that uh, landscape would look like now for the Blazers trying to figure out how do we rebuild and how do we try and take that next step? Like who do we acquire? What deal do we make to make it make us go where we need to to keep him happy. Reportedly, he wanted Jason Kidd as the head coach. Well, Jason Kidd is here. Nico is here. So the exclusion of Dallas, especially when he would be playing alongside Luka, is a little surprising to me because he has spoken very highly of Luka at times. Um, That's not to say that he's been neutral or meh or even unimpressed with him at other times. It's just I haven't seen a whole lot of times he's been asked directly about Luka, but anytime he has spoken on Luka, it's been very much in praise and uh, high appreciation for his game. So the prospect of playing alongside Luka is intriguing. Maybe you look at the stability of Dallas's front office and how the past couple months played out, and you say, ah, no thanks, that doesn't look very good. But, you know, it just has to be examined more closely, I think, as you move in, because I don't think this is going to be a bang-bang situation. I don't think it's going to be, hey, he's telling them, today or tomorrow or Monday or whatever, officially saying, I want to trade, and then by Tuesday or Wednesday, he's dealt. I don't think that's going to be the case. I would not be the least bit surprised if he gets moved right before the season or during the season, maybe 20 games in. If somewhere in that range, he gets moved finally. And most of the time, teams aren't able to pull guys back from the brink of a trade demand. The Lakers managed to do it with Kobe Bryant back in the day. But, you know, you're not always going to find you're not always going to find a team like the Lakers did in Memphis that is willing to take a bunch of picks and, eh, you know, a bag of beans and suddenly give you an all star caliber player that instantly turns you into a sudden contender like they did with Powell. Now, to be fair, I'm pretty sure one of those Laker picks wound up being Mark Gasol, who was a centerpiece and stalwart for them through the Grizzlies' best years. That stretch run they had there uh, between 2010 and like 2014, I think it was. Like, they were damn good in that run. The problem is they had to run through the Spurs, the Lakers, the Thunder. Like, no chance. And then the the Warriors there by the end. So, no chance they were ever going to break through. But they got close. They got to the West Finals once. So, it's... It's interesting to see. Like, I don't think that in all likelihood Portland is going to salvage this. If if the reports are true and Damian Lillard is officially requesting a trade or demanding a trade, if you want to put it that way, then I think we're in for a long haul situation. And we're going to have to see, can he force his way to a specific destination? Or does Portland manage to find the best deal out there and instead maybe a team like Dallas or someone else can cobble together some kind of deal with another team where Lillard comes to Dallas or somewhere that's not in that list of four teams reported right now as his preferred destinations. We'll just have to see, but it's going to be a fascinating thing. We'll obviously talk more on it as it develops, but for now, that's really all we know. I saw that news come down as I was basically doing the last video and so i was like ah, i want to add a little something to it there at the end and we'll explore it later but 
That's it for the time here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment below, subscribe to the Dallas Prospect, and until next time, remember, every legend was once a prospect. Peace.